A $2 billion plan to rebuild vanishing wetlands south of New Orleans passed a major milestone this month. Paul Murphy reports the plan would divert water and sediment from the Mississippi River to build back the natural storm barrier between the city and the Gulf of Mexico. The mid Barataria settlement diversion will essentially cut a hole into the levee around the Plaquemines Parish town of Ironton, southeast of New Orleans, and channel part of the river's flow into Barataria Bay. And what this project is about is mimicking the natural process that built the state of Louisiana. Chip Klein is chairman of the Louisiana Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority. He says the diversion would build as much as 27 square miles of new land in the Barataria Basin by 2050. Louisiana has lost about 2,000 square miles since 1932. Klein says coastal restoration means better hurricane protection for greater New Orleans. That for every mile of coastal wetlands that exists, storm surge can be knocked down by one foot. The project would divert 75,000 cubic feet of fresh water and sediment per second from the Mississippi River into the bay. That's about five Olympic-sized swimming pools every minute. The Army Corps of Engineers impact study said the change in salinity levels in the bay would hurt the region's brown shrimp fisheries and oyster grounds. Shrimper and oysterman George Barishit says the project would kill his livelihood. It's going to hurt the fisheries, it's going to move the shrimp out, and then it's going to change the productive areas. You need that, you need that brackish water for them oysters and them shrimp and everything to live. State Senator Pat Connick supports the project but fears it will increase tidal flooding in places like Myrtle Grove and Lafitte. Well, first we got to find out how bad the flooding is going to be, and then we got to find a remedy to mitigate that, raising roads, putting levees up, uh, and it's going to come with a cost. According to the CPRA, those now working to rebuild the Louisiana coast are committed to addressing any of the negative impacts from this sediment diversion project. Not only are we committed to doing it, but we were actually required by law to address any negative impacts. Construction of the diversion would begin by the end of next year if the project gets final approval. Money from the state's BP oil spill settlement would cover the $2 billion price tag. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Public comments on the diversion project will be accepted through May 4th. There will also be three days of public hearings next month. We have more information on where to send your comments on our website. 